sounds cliche, but really take advantage of your time here. It's not every day that you get to live in one of the most beautiful places in the world. To be flexible and prepare yourself for the uh, unpreparable or, uh, you know, the uh, unexpected. You know, this is an amazing park that you can never take full advantage of everything it has to offer. Uh, something unexpected would be, for example, like a fire extinguisher going off in a uh, bell vehicle. There's some great friendships to be develop developed. Actually, I, I would say just do what I did. No planning whatsoever. Just come up here with a complete and totally open mind. Be ready for everything and ready to be outdoors the entire summer. You know, there's a lot of opportunity within your position as well to really gain some great professional knowledge and, and, and take you quite far. Don't wait, like Nike says, just do it. I feel like you arrive in um, like May and there's potentially snow and crappy weather and you're like, oh, I can wait and do that hike next week, it'll be better. And you wait and you wait and all of a sudden summer's here and summer usually arrives like, mm, of June and then it goes by so quickly and then you look back and it's snowing on closing day and I'm like why didn't I do that where did summer go it's paddleboarding down the Snake River I try to do that at least once a week hammock float on the river by far the best way to spend a lazy day in the Tetons is on the Snake River. And of course everybody would say like, go to hang out by the river, but honestly one of my favorite things to do lazy is to go to Jackson and pretend I'm a tourist. Hands down my favorite activity would be fly fishing. And just taking a lawn chair and setting it in String Lake. It's where I can sit about chest deep, soak up the sun. Drinks are always nice to include. This area just draws memorable people. My old roommate, Tucker, uh, he was a blast. Um, he actually fake married me on top of Signal Mountain. Still have video of that. If I did have to say, without a doubt, the one person that's the most memorable out of all of the people at GTLC, anyone that's sitting in this room and is a returning employee will know this person already. His name is Charlie Amarati. By far, is someone that just you can't forget. Um, every day when you walk in the building, you're gonna see him smiling. And when you uh, probably walk out for the evening, you're gonna see him smiling. And if you are new to this company, you are certain to meet him and know who he is during the season. I'll leave it at that. I actually don't think I've ever told anybody this, so here's to the whole company. <laughs> Um, I saddled a horse wrong my first year for a rescue ride and almost took off <laughs> running down the trail. Uh, luckily I caught it in time, but did not tell my foreman that I had done it wrong because I was all by myself at the corrals. Probably going to have to go with not bringing a car. So I got to go swimming in some hot springs in Yellowstone. That was pretty cool. Something I thought I would never do is probably just come out here to the Tetons in general. Uh, never had heard about them before I moved to, to Colorado to start with Vail Resorts. I got to climb a mountain, which never thought I would ever do. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty cool, definitely, to say that, you know, you've done, you know, swam in a hot spring on a volcano. Not many people get to do that, so.